What's up, everybody? This is Whiskey in the Six. I'm Rob doing the Ben Romick 2012 distillation bottled in 2021. This is 46%. This will be arriving in Canada shortly. If it hasn't already, Alberta and BC will be getting the luxury of having this bottle in their province. Uh, 46% matured in a first fill sherry cask and it is 55 ppm uh, phenyl level. So a decent amount of peat in this one. Uh, that's roughly around Ardbeg levels of peat, 55 ppm. This is brought down to 46%. Unchill filter, no added color, all those great things. It says it right there, natural color, non-chill filtered. All right. Um, this was gifted to me by James Bourne, who works out in BC, representing this company, as well as a few others. And man, am I happy I got this bottle. One of those bottles that I don't know if I would have bought unless it was suggested to me. So I'm happy he did suggest it. And apparently it's gonna be coming in around $90 Canadian, which I think is an absolute steal. I'm gonna tell you why in just a sec. So you definitely get the smokiness here. It's not a heavy amount of smoke on the nose. I recently reviewed a Ben Nevis that was six years old that definitely smelled more Isla heavy peat, despite them both being Highlands or Speyside anyway. This is a space side. Nice smokiness, weighing a little bit more toward the barbecue side. Some nice fruitiness on the nose too. Red fruit heavy, some like berry fruit notes on this cooked down. It's about nine years old, maybe a little bit over nine years old on the palate. Okay. Decent viscosity on this, not overly viscous, but really nice. Uh, great entry, sweet. You get some like ripe red apple, a little bit like ripe raspberry as well. And then the smoke comes in through the finish and it's barbecue directed, but also a little bit of like a coffee, dark chocolate style on the end. Maybe that's a little bit of the combination between the sherry and the peat. So this is interesting because despite being 55 PPM, I don't think that this is gonna turn off people that are not overly enthusiastic about peat. It's much more mild than the amount of PPM would suggest in my opinion, especially when you think that Ardbeg and Laphroaig peat their whiskeys around the same level. Probably get a little bit more peat on the nose and on the palate. Yeah, I really like that. 46%, um, so it's a great pour and play kind of whiskey. It's not gonna turn many people off in my opinion, even those who are not overly fond of peat but can handle a little bit of peat are still gonna really like this, especially because of the first fill sherry influence on it. Uh, one of those where I would definitely buy all day at around 90 bucks Canadian, even up to $100 Canadian, I would buy this. Uh, excellent whiskey in my opinion. I think this one's worth an 87.88. Um, probably leaning more towards an 88 than an 87, but somewhere in that range, really good stuff. Um, the values there, the qualities there. I really like what Ben Romick is doing lately. And I hope that it starts to influence what they're doing with the 15, the 21 and all that other stuff moving forward, bottling at 46% and all that fun stuff. Uh, really good whiskey. I like that a lot. Hope you like this video guys. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. 
If you really like the video, hit the subscribe button and the bell to get notifications for when I do release a video. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and you can support this channel on Patreon. Cheers.